South African newsrooms are mourning the death of veteran journalist and commentator Karima Brown. During apartheid, she was a political activist against the white supremacist government. In post-apartheid South Africa, Karima used her journalism to advance the rights of the working class. We have more from our correspondent Matuba Mahlatri in the following report. Welcome to this edition of The Fix, where every Sunday we hold those... Many South Africans plan their Sundays around Karima Brown's TV show to get their weekly fix. But before her larger-than-life personality became known to younger journalists, she was an anti-apartheid activist. Karima nailed her colors to the mast, unapologetically making public her political affiliation to the African National Congress of her father, who was also an activist in the Western Cape during apartheid. The ANC is now in government and Karima Brown was one of the fiercest critics of the former liberation movement. In 2019, she outlined the failures of the ANC during an interview with Telesur. Partly why we sit with the inequality that we had. So, for example, the ANC did not introduce free compulsory education when it started. Um, and that would have been um, a way to empower those who are locked out of uh, the economy with the necessary skills to be absorbed. I'm Karima Brown and I'm going to be on your radio. Karima was a newsroom leader in almost all media houses she worked for. From print, radio and TV, she was known for strength and conviction in what she believed in. On her last radio show, she featured voices of Latin America, especially against the Donald Trump administration, which sought to oust Venezuela's government of the day. The people of Venezuela have sent their condolences. Today we were saddened to learn of the passing of our great friend Karima Brown, who besides being an extraordinary person, was an excellent professional, friend of our people and friend and defender of just causes. Today, on behalf of the government of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela that I represent, and on my own behalf, we want to express to her family and friends our deepest condolences for such an irreparable loss. Karima, you will always be in our hearts. Karima was laid to rest in a private burial ceremony held in accordance with Islamic rites and traditions. For Telesur, Amatuba Mahlachi in Pretoria.